Well, here we are in tutorial number eight for the Evil Clutches video series where we're learning to use Game Maker Studio 2. So as you can see in our past seven videos, we've gone through a hell of a lot of the um, skills that you need to know to, to finish this up. So they're all highlighted there. In this tutorial, we're going to do some really important stuff. We're going to look at how you keep score and record and display score on the game. Now, looking at our specifications, we've done all the specifications for the Mother Dragon and the Boss Demon. And apart from the score elements, they're the only ones we have left for the Dragon Babies and the Demons. So that's so they are the specifications that we will be doing in this video. Okay, so to start off with our tutorial looking at um, creating the score, we need to introduce a new concept called controller objects. Now, all the objects we've had so far have had a sprite, so they're visible in the actual game. But objects don't have to have sprites. So with controller objects, they're an object that sits in the background of your game and does a lot of the functioning, the running, or if you want, the controlling of the game. And because we don't want it to be visible, what we do is we make that one a object without the actual sprite. So we're going to create the object in the normal way that we do, except we're not going to start with a sprite. So we're just going to come down the object, and you say create object, and this object's going to be called OBJ control. Now the advantage of having a separate controller to take care of things like score or other functions of the game, it means that this object um, isn't an object that will be create, uh, will be destroyed. If you had an object which had the score and it got destroyed, then um, then you would lose your score and all the information. So we could keep the mother dragon, or we could keep the the boss demon as the controller, but that just confuses it, and it's a lot easier to put this kind of operational material in a separate controller because you know where that where that information and that programming is stored. So, in here I've created my controller object and I'm going to, upon the creation, so upon the actual object being created in the actual room, we're going to go create and we're going to, to use the action set um, score. Let me see if how far that is. Let's remember down here. Set title about set score. And we're going to set the score to zero because it is zero. We're going to start with zero. Now, um, introduce another concept to you is draw. Just like we have um, step, which continuously keeps um, going through every tick of the game and running a control, there's a particular one which is designed for drawing. So every time that the screen is refreshed, then the draw event runs. So we're going to come down here and say draw and just use draw. So that means every time that the screen's refreshed, this event occurs and the actions within this event will actually occur as well too. So what we're going to do is let's put score over here and we're going to draw an instance of score. Okay, so where are we going to draw it? First off, we're going to give it our caption, score, which you're happy with. And it's got a space in it, that's good. Secondly, we're going to position this one at 512 pixels for the X and have the Y at 30. So it should be roughly in the middle of our screen at the top up there. Right now. So let's see, we've done that. We've created the object there. I'm actually going to add this into our room so we can see what it looks like. So open this up, objects object control and you'll see there'll just be a little a little circle up here with a question mark which means yep there's something here but it's not showing it's not going to show so if I run that now you will see that the actual object at the top doesn't appear but instead you'll see the score zero in the middle of the screen as we've written up here righty -o. so now we need to go back to our workspace hide you away and what we need to do is we need now to change the score now we know back from our specifications that the score changes um, that when you 
that when a demon is shot, they get 100 points. When a baby is rescued, i.e. collides with the mother dragon, they get 500 points. And also when a baby collides with a fireball, we get negative 300. Now we've already put all those collisions into the objects of the baby and the demon. Now we know that the object, the collision between the object and fireball is in our demon object. So we're gonna come in here and the collision's already here. So in addition to the event of the collision, we're going to add in here the score. We need to set score, so score, which has already been typed here. I go set score. Now score, remember score doesn't live in the demon. Score lives in the controller. So I want you to set the score in the controller object. And I want to add 100 points, so that's 100 points relative. So whenever you tick relative, it takes the current value and then if it says 100 here, it'll add 100. If it says negative 100, it will minus 100. So let's go see how that goes. So I'm gonna shoot the demon here and yet the score's gone up. Awesome. So the next one now is to work on the other two points which are in the babies. So the collision with the mother is the same as the demon so we are going to say score and we're going to say set score and the score that lives in the object controller we are going to add 500 points we said so 500 points relative and that will increase the score to 500 if you rescue a baby and then but if you get if the baby gets hit by a fireball we want to discourage that kind of behavior. So we are going to reduce your score. So the score, and remember the score lives in the object controller, and we want to make it negative 300 relative. So again, relative, it'll take the current score and it'll take 300 points away from it. So let's run that and see if I'm good enough to actually do all those things. Let me see, so I've shot a bear. Yep, shot a demon, shot a demon. Now let's have a look. There's a baby here, rescuing babies. Yeah, score's gone up. Let's try shooting the baby, score's gone down. Let's prove a bit more. So, there we are. We have our score function and the game should restart. Yeah, we've got a score, we've got a collisions, they're all working. We now have a functional game. Well, there we go. We now have a fully functional game. We have covered all the specifications for the mother dragon, the boss demon, the uh, dragon babies and the demons. Now we just have to be concerned with some aesthetics and, um, and that will be finishing up in the next couple of videos. And in this video, you learned about the draw event. Um, you also learned about the actions of setting the score and drawing an instance of the score. And we've learned about the concept of a controller object.